Crawlers, baby. I'm a brawl on a mission, undefeated, undisputed, catch his right hook, don't miss him, I'm the greatest, like Ali, pet power wearing my punch, line him up, knock him down, boy, this really what you want, I punch you dead in your front. Well, good morning, boxing fans, it's your boy Rick Mohammed, Brawler Sports Media, and this is the Brawler Sports Boxing Show. Fresh off the press, just in, Canelo Alvarez is suing CEO of Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya and the zone for breach of contract for the $365 million for 11 fights that they promised him. Uh, that being said, he filed this lawsuit uh, in Los Angeles, if you will. Uh, and he's asking for a settlement in the, in the drum beat of a $280 million uh, that he wants to be uh, compensated for. Uh, for lack of them uh, giving him the fights and the money that they promised him. He just last fought, what, 2019 last year when he stopped Sergey Kovalov in the 11th round. Uh, as you know, he likes to fight in September and May. Uh, however, due to the pandemic coming on and COVID-19, uh, he pushed all his plans back uh, for his next fight since Kovalov. Uh, this is interesting. This is what fighters do. And this is what happens when you're throwing that kind of money out there to them. Uh, you don't know, you know, what the intentions are of the people that promised you uh, this deal, the zone, that being said, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, if you will, Golden Boy. Uh, so, you know, this this isn't good uh, for him and his team and his camp. Uh, it's, it it kind of puts everything kind of upside down, if you will, uh, until the judges get together and the lawyers get together and both parties get together and see if this settlement is going to be uh, awarded to Canelo in his favor for that full 280 million or something's going to have to give. And if this settlement goes in his favor, does he stay with Golden Boy and become a bigger shot caller and get to tell them what he wants done? Or does he just self-promote himself under the Canelo Alvarez promotion company that he's already put into place? I say he moves on, runs his own show under his own banner, if you will. What's your thoughts? Hey, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet on YouTube, by all means, please do so. Comment, like, and share. Once again, it's your boy Brawler Sports Media, and this is the Brawler Sports Boxing Show, and we're bringing you all the latest updated news in boxing. Till next time, God bless. Brawlers, baby. Brawlers, baby.